Hi everybody, my name's Ed Morris and I'm Technical Manager for Al Technic. I just want to do a short video today where we're going to talk about our 6000 series Ledger Mix 2.0. Now, the Ledger Mix is a, is a bit of a hybrid uh, valve when it comes to mixing. So what we have, we'll break it down into, into, into its individual components. So what we have here is a standard mechanical mixing valve with a, with a thermostatic element. Uh, which controls your hot water and centralised hot water system. So when you're storing your water at elevated temperatures, we use this valve to, to blend the temperatures down to a safe, usable, usable temperature. Um, but what we also have, which we can see on here is this top, is, is the, hybrid, uh, the hybrid part of, of, of the valve itself. Now, what this allows us to do uh, is to start in, uh, introducing um, sort of thermal disinfection into a system itself. Obviously, we're storing circulating waters at what can be deemed quite dangerous temperatures for the risk of Legionella um, and, and other nasty bacteria that can grow in the system at, at sort of you know the, the, the warmer temperatures. Um, so there's a built-in function of this valve itself which allows you to elevate that temperature around the system uh, to carry out what we call a thermal purge or thermal disinfection. Um, so what we have in the valve itself, we have a, a thermometer or a, a thermostat which is immersed in the outlet of the valve so we can register the temperature that's coming out of there. Uh, and then we put another probe out in the system, so the furthest point of the system where you want to carry out your disinfection um, with a recirculation pump. And then what happens is at a set time, so there's a programmable time in here for seven days a week, 365 days a year, um, different kinds of disinfection modes that we can carry out. But it all works off the, off the thermostats or the probes talking to each other. So at the set time, the, the valve, uh, the electronic part of the valve will disengage the cartridge, so we're just pulling through the raw hot water. Um, and the index probe, which is the furthest this probe out in the system we then look into to heat a temperature out at that at that point because that we know then if we've put that the furthest point of the system that we then have that hot water that's pulled or purified the system all the way to that furthest point um, that will be recorded within the the brains of the valve itself in the pcb here um, and once that thermal disinfection has taken place so once we've sent our 65 or 70 degree water out to the system we know we've done that we know we've carried out the purification of the system the valve will close itself back down again and it will be just become a standard thermostatic mixing valve again um, so there's there's plenty of benefits to this we can you can record the cycles you can connect it to a bms system so if you do have bms systems that operate this you can you can record it into there so you can see that this the, the disinfection has been been carried out there's also a, a usb cable which comes with some software so this can be plugged directly into a laptop um, so you can sort of start to play away with the settings and you can see what the valve has been doing um, been doing throughout its, its periodic uh, life cycle of, of, of settings uh, that you've left it to do so again it's quite simple you know it looks it looks quite difficult to work but it's not it's very simple if you break it down we've got a standard thermostatic mixing valve with standard settings um, with a control box on top or a brain for, for the top of it uh, which allows you to carry out the thermal disinfection cycles um, and, and, and other features that are built into there so again if you want any information on this valve if you head over to our website it's called a ledger mix or a 6000 series ledger mix 2.0 um, there you can find some educational videos, you can find all the data sheets and you can also find some IOMs. Um, so thank you for watching and we'll hope to see you again soon.